how is it going guys it's eclipse here and today's christmas special is of course an opening of key cards we're gonna do one where i myself have actually bought some key cards we've got 20 top secret key cards on my own account where we're gonna hope to get as many premium tanks as we possibly can to boost up the gold on the account that we currently have because we're sitting at 6200 and it would be a hell of a lot nicer to kind of boost it up and allow us to buy some of the premiums that are coming out so I'm not hoping you guys spend your money, but the other half of this video is going to be looking at uh, what you can get out of other key cards so that maybe you save up throughout the entirety of the year, much like Jonesy has within this video. So we're going to open up a ton of key cards. I believe he's saved up 72 key cards and we're going to, have to see whether or not it was worth saving them up from the long hauls, uh, all of the operations where you get a ton of stuff uh, given to you. So from uh, seasons and stuff like that, we're going to do a big opening in this video. But let's first start with my own key cards to see whether or not we can get anything decent. So We'll be rattling through them and hopefully uh, we'll be able to get some decent stuff. And even if we don't get anything decent, we'll at least get some gold. Now the first one, of course, is a ton of gold. And we like getting the gold value. I am not really bothered about any silver or any of the boosts that it gives you, although they are a nice addition. Um, and of course, I will not say no. Um, but essentially what we're after is just to get as much premium tanks and hopefully premium tanks that we already own because remember I have an absolute ton of premium tanks and I believe we have a lot of the tanks that are currently in the rotation and if we do hit the drop rate of vehicles uh, that is 10% on key cards then we should get two premium vehicles this is if we get exactly lucky with the key cards we managed to hit the drop rate uh, which is of course something that probably doesn't happen a whole lot um, but yeah at least we can hope to get some tanks but of course you can see us rattling through we've managed to pick up what like an extra 4,000 gold at this point and we actually got another key card which is nice uh, and in fact getting a key card out of a key card is a 5% chance so it's like getting a premium tank so hopefully we haven't used up all of our luck in being able to get one of those key cards and you have to actually back out to see that you've got your key card so let's continue and hopefully we can get something decent out of these I'm hoping for that elusive premium tank um, so come on come on so 400 gold I mean this is the minimum gold that you're guaranteed out of key cards I believe 425 which is not what we want we want to get as much gold as possible uh, or see ourselves with a premium tank because remember with the key cards uh, if you do get um, uh, a premium tank you will get the gold value unfortunately we have got unlucky so far we should have got a premium tank based on the drop rates of them being 10 percent uh, but unfortunately not yet and it continues we may not even get a single premium tank which i would be super disappointed with uh, if we did because essentially it would be worth about 80 dollars in terms of the price now wargaming do give you uh, i suppose the gold value of things that are in these key cards so you know that's how they kind of warrant spending uh, so much on these but you are really hoping to get a premium tank and there we go, we get a nice 1600 gold, which I would definitely take, and that can go straight in the bank. Um, and we'll just continue. Uh, <laughs> just, It's not gone well at all. We were definitely hoping to at least get one premium tank out of 20 key cards, um, and it would have been so much, so much better. Um, but there we go. Hopefully, fingers crossed, come on, Wargaming. They really are shafting me in this one. So 16 key cards down, you're looking at about 10,000 gold and there we go, our first premium vehicle uh, that we get out of the key cards. Unfortunately, it's a tier 7, which is not particularly uh, the tier that you want out of the key cards since most of the tier uh, or top secret key card tanks are indeed tier 8, which give you a ton more gold. Uh, but I believe we have this in the garage. We'll just have to hope that we do because I have the definitely got one version of this tank uh, and it seems like we did. We got an extra seven and a half thousand gold 
there bringing the total up to 25,000. That means I'm happy with what we've done so far. I am happy to have got a premium tank that we already own, but in terms of being on drop rate, it's not particularly the best in the world. And we can only hope that we end up with another premium tank potentially. Oh, another top secret key card. Well, that definitely won't go amiss. Um, we'll just continue uh, as we go. So fingers crossed. I'm just really hoping that in these key cards we can get a premium tank. One more premium tank would be amazing um, and really seal it off as being a decent opening. It says we haven't got a key card, but of course you have to back out to see the one that you receive. Fingers crossed in the last one. And we get another key card. So in the key card that we got from a key card, we get another key card. So seems like we're getting very lucky with that because we've essentially got three lots of a 5% drop rate, which I mean, all of our luck's been used up there, really, let's be honest. Um, and there we go. The final one, 1,200 gold, meaning that we earn 14,000 gold, essentially, or no, I lied, 22,000 gold from about 80 which if you look in the store if you just went ahead and bought gold um, I mean it's in pounds I think yeah you probably could have got about the same amount uh, from just the uh, the actual key cards but of course we did get unlucky we should have got um, a two premium tanks out of the opening but there we go I mean make of it what you will it's definitely going to help me out with the account we also picked up a decent amount of silver on top of a couple of million um and that essentially allows me to then go ahead and purchase some of the bundles, which I'm uh, essentially looking to get a ton of the 5x100 uh, vehicle XP boosters because those are the most important thing I can possibly purchase at the mo this moment in time because I want to be able to get all of the tier 10s. And we're also looking at using all of the silver that's left on the account to repurchase some of the uh, vehicles that we don't already have in the garage. And I'm talking about all of the low tier stuff since it's 30% off every tank in the game. But that's my opening. What about Jonesy's opening? Hopefully all of the luck is stored up for him because it will be way more important since he'll probably use a lot more of these tanks so fingers crossed he has a brilliant opening and let's jump over there now so we are here on the account 75 key cards remaining so this was all gathered as part of the event so essentially you know you have the uh kind of challenges that you can complete from the season so every season you will end up having a variety of different rewards so for example at season rank 69 or 70 essentially you'll get a classified key card you can end up getting uh, confidential key cards you can get top secret key cards and also don't forget that you can also as part of the challenges every single week complete the long haul twice which essentially gives you a random key card it could be a confidential it could be something else but yeah either way it is going to be amazing to open up 75 and I really hope that Jonesy here ends up having some really good results uh, with the tanks that he does have and of course he's showcasing off some of the three marked vehicles that he has it seems like everything is almost three marked on his uh, on his account but Yes, I am super looking forward to what we have within the game uh, and what the key cards are going to be able to give. So we'll start off with uh, starting off pretty mediocre with these happy tanksmas cards because I believe the chance of getting a premium tank is one in a hundred key cards. So we shouldn't get a premium out of this. So you never know hopefully we do and of course they do reward you with a commander every single one which is okay it gives you a little bit of gold as well um, but they are probably the worst key cards you can buy in terms of getting gold um, each of the commanders I believe you can sell for 250,000 silver um, so there is that uh, that you can kind of work towards but essentially all of these are are actually from playing the game so it is entirely free all of the key cards all 75 of them were awarded um, throughout the entire season so it's really nice and it is really nice of Jonesy to allow us to actually uh, do a video on this and showcase the key cards it really really is uh, is good but essentially 
what we're hoping is to get him as much gold as possible. Now, I know Jonesy has a few premiums on the account. Now, we don't know how many he does indeed have, but the more premiums you have, of course, the more uh, useful uh, being able to get premiums out of it is, especially if you don't really care what premium you're going to receive out of a key card, then maybe that is um, the best way to spend money or on kind of key cards is to actually uh, purchase uh, key cards uh, which will give you um, basically the best chance of getting as much gold as possible whilst also uh, potentially giving you a tank that you don't mind getting if you were after a specific tank you are much better just going out and buying the tank uh, than it you are to kind of go through and open a, a ton of like I guess uh, key cards to try and get that tank is what I'm essentially trying to say but hopefully just hopefully we'll be able to get our first premium tank of the day and as we say that we get the SU-76i which is a tier 3 I believe I mean we can have a look at this vehicle uh, to see exactly what this tank is I believe it is a tier 3 um, I believe it's actually a bit of a seal clubber as well so we'll have a quick look at the tank this is it I mean it is a fast firing tier 3 uh, with good penetration and I believe it has like ridiculous DPM for a tier 3 or something I mean 1500 DPM is, is insane but yes the first premium of the game or of the uh, day on the opening on Jonesy's account and hopefully he has a lot better a day than I did uh, when I did my little opening but We'll continue uh, with the opening. So 31 cards remaining. Of course, we did get a free card. So these will all add up and we're hoping uh, to be able to uh, get in the region of about 100 cards opening uh, within this video. And of course, hence why the title is what it is, because you do get key cards back. So yeah, really, really nice to see um, so far. So there we go. Another confidential key card for free. And this is exactly what you want from your opening, because the more key cards you can get, the more gold you're guaranteed and the better your chances of getting a premium tank are, because Every single additional key card basically uh, will give you uh, an increased chance of getting a premium tank. Um, so that's really, really nice. Uh, ad additionally, when you're opening up the confidential key cards, you're essentially wanting to be able to just uh, basically get all of the boosts. So your silvers, your gold, your free XP, even the free XP that you get from the key cards is amazing because it allows you to just rinse through a ton of these key cards and essentially make a ton of gold um, as well as uh, basically be able to progress your account in loads of different ways. So, I mean, I'm not going to promote key cards. I think that they're very expensive for what they are in the game. Um, and usually <laughs> I think um, it's definitely something that I would recommend saving them up. If you want to do a big opening, just save up your key cards from the season pass like Jonesy's done and you can have a massive opening. You can hopefully end up with thousands and thousands of gold and you could probably end up paying for a lot of the stuff that you need in the game with these key cards now you see jonesy's account is pretty stacked anyway so you can see 167 million silver which is i mean unbelievable uh so yeah it's really really amazing and there we go another premium tank right on drop rate pretty much at uh, the ac4 uh, ac1 sentinel so this is a different i believe that this may be a tier four um vehicle so yeah it's essentially a tank that he already owns but unfortunately it's not the skinned version so it is literally just the bog standard version unfortunately so he doesn't get the gold for it uh, and i guess probably will never end up playing this i don't know if it even if he's even played the vanquisher um but there you go i mean it's a premium tank no one's going to complain as well as getting all of the golden stuff that comes with it so continuing on on the opening we want to try and smash through these and uh, really get to the big boys we get another key card so perfect um and we'll just continue with the confidentials uh the real kind of interesting stuff Stuff comes when it comes to the uh, classified key cards because the classified uh, reward you with essentially tier six and seven vehicles which give you a ton more gold if you do get them uh, the tier threes to four and five that you can get out of the confidentials only going to give you like a maximum of maybe uh, 3000 gold if you get a really good heavy tank uh, tier five I guess but it's going to be so rare anyway to be able to get that that you're probably way more likely uh, to get something 
um, from the top secret that's going to give you a lot of gold and that's really what we're hoping for so so far gone pretty well i mean we're on drop rate pretty much with the premiums oh and there we go we get the same tank which is perfect this is actually really good because this is going to give us an extra 1000 uh, gold so that's really nice uh boosting up that value and of course a typical confidential key card is only going to give you about 200 gold on average um so yeah really nice to see and uh, the more gold we can get the better jonesy is going to be a <laughs> feeling i expect after saving up so many of these key cards over the months and uh, maybe even a year since we last did a video i believe uh, we did do a video last year where we showcased uh, what spending absolutely no money can get you in a year so this is really really good stuff uh, from jonesy so continuing here um, i guess you're seeing whether or not the confidential key cards are worth it and in my opinion if you're going to spend any money on the game definitely don't buy the confidential key cards because they just don't give you anything really worth it um, and so you're going to be spending less money on each one but they give you terrible rewards and they definitely won't give you any of the good rewards that you could possibly want because they're just not in them uh, because everyone's going to be wanting a tier 8 premium essentially especially if you're going to spend a ton of money on them uh, yeah you'd be hoping to get some of the premiums but talking about getting a premium I think we get a really seal clubbery tier 4 on a T28E with the F30 and now the F30 I believe is the main armament of the tank I think it might be a tier 3 no it appears it is a tier 4 like I was saying but th this is what this vehicle is I think it's got a pretty clubber gun 160 damage and it reloads pretty quickly from what I remember uh, so a 6.1 second reload so yeah it is a bit of a, a seal clubber I believe but there you go I mean it looks very nice in game um, but yeah probably no one's gonna actually end up using it at the end of the day um, but either way back to the last few key cards I say last few there's still like 30 left um, so we're hoping that in the uh, top secret there where it's going to be made up this is where we're hoping we'll be able to get some uh, really great rewards um, and with only three confidential key cards left and we're just need another premium if we can get another premium out of them that would be fantastic but we don't want to use up all of the luck on these lower class rewards so just smashing on through them a lovely bit of free xp as we go you can see we've probably gra gave gotten about maybe 20,000 free xp which is nice i mean it doesn't matter a whole lot for jonesy because you've got about 510,000 nearly um which is unbelievable um but yeah it's now down to the classified key cards and this is where you start getting i think guaranteed of 250 gold per card um so we're guaranteed at least like 4,000 gold from opening these but this is where you really start to make uh, the gold from the key cards because you can get up to about a thousand gold from one uh, classified key card as the maximum there you go 775 lovely uh, and as we kind of work our way through potentially able to get a premium tank as we go so that is my ultimate ambition within this and we're hoping across all of the key cards uh, to be able to get somewhere in the region of about 40,000 gold on the account so we need to make 25,000 gold in the next uh, 29 key cards so yeah that's the that's the aim whether or not we'll actually make it you guys can leave in the comment section down below and hopefully you don't do it after the video has happened but I mean <laughs> that's up to you um, as we go of course gold more gold and gold is what we want um and essentially i'm assuming that's just so that jonesy can go through the tech tree lines progress um essentially have more silver spend it on whatever he wants to um and hopefully that will come along as he progresses through the game so down to the last 10 i believe classified somewhere in that region now seven even um and yet to get a premium out of them so fingers crossed uh, we'll be able to see one uh, but even if we don't I hope that the premium comes in the uh, top secrets because that's where it's going to be most important the tier 8 and tier 7 vehicles sometimes they do even put tier 9 vehicles and tier 10 vehicles in there but I'm unsure as to whether or not that will actually be a thing but smashing in some of the key cards here We'll wait and see what happens. We get another key card, so always nice to see. And we'll just continue 
Um, hopefully this isn't too boring for you guys because remember it is literally just opening up the key cards uh, but I guess you guys get to see what it's like for uh, opening up the key cards what you're probably going to end up getting from them um, and maybe if you want to do this yourself whether it would be worth it for you so that's the ultimate aim of doing this opening um, and there we go that is all of the classified we're up to 20,000 gold and we've also managed to make a little bit of silver some premium days uh, some free xp about 30,000 free xp so that's always nice and yeah kind of working through the latter half of these top secret key cards as we go now so with the first top secret key card down we will wait and see as to what we get and Fingers crossed, just as much gold as possible. That's a nice 900. If we just hit about a 900 gold per key card, we could probably expect somewhere in the region of about 38,000 um, or just less than that, maybe 35,000. So we're really banking on getting a premium out of these top secret key cards. And hopefully it's one that he already owns. And there we go, the resurgence of the bear, KV-122 coming out. Now, I'm really hoping that he's actually completed the bear kv122 operation because that will almost seal being able to get 40,000 gold now will we or will we not have completed the bear kv122 earn operation he didn't ah oh, it's absolutely damn that's actually gutting we were hoping that the bear 122 was on the account unfortunately it isn't and so you've basically just got uh, the tank, which is a good tank, don't get me wrong, uh, but you would have much rather had a tier 8 that you didn't already own. <laughs> and there's no way, there's absolutely no way. The next key card, we get the Bear KV-122 again, which guarantees that you get the gold value. So yes, this is what we like to see. 7,500 gold added to the account with still 13 key cards left remaining. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted, exactly what we uh, kind of hoped for with the initial Bear KV-122 coming out. Um, and of course, yeah, very, very happy with that result. Uh, so, yeah, oh, that's nice to see. Um, and hopefully we'll continue that. Yeah, of course, getting a ton of gold and premium time as well. Um, and to be honest with you, my overall view on key cards is that they are the best thing to open if you have premium tanks in your garage already and if you don't care about what you're going to get. If you are specifically wanting a specific tank, then definitely don't open key cards to get it. You're not going to be able to guarantee yourself. And even if you wanted to, you'd have to open an absolute ton. And we get the first tier 8 of the video, the Bog Horror. Now I'm really hoping that during the Monster Hunter operation that Jonesy picked the Bog Horror at some point because this tank is worth a fortune. I think it's like 14,000 gold or somewhere in that region. So fingers crossed he has the Bog Horror. Has he got it? He does indeed have the Bog Horror and that is 9,500 gold added to the account which is fantastic 41 and a half thousand gold this is a good opening all of the luck has obviously been sapped into jonesy's account rather than my own and <laughs> it's definitely very very good to see so it's rewarding him for saving up so many of these key cards and we're hoping maybe just maybe we can get another premium maybe even one that he doesn't own that would be perfect as we're rolling through the last of them so i'm assuming probably about forty-five thousand gold is what we're going to end up with unless we get another premium so come on one more premium wargaming hook jonesy up please hook him up not quite five more and with the minimum gold in that last one so maybe the luck has ran out entirely another minimum gold um so yeah come on more gaming just one more premium or another top secret key card added on for just some more gold and we get 850 gold we'll take that definitely gonna hit the 45,000 gold mark come on just one more premium and we do we get a tank t-a-n-k this is perfect another tier 8 premium vehicle does he have it though because if he does this is going to be an outrageous opening um, and we're going to have made probably in the region of about fifty thousand gold within this opening so i'm really really hoping he does indeed have the tank come on he doesn't 
but it's a brilliant tier 8 light tank so it's definitely a nice addition to have in the game really really is good to see and with just two more top secret key cards it's very unlikely we're going to be able to get another tank but you never know the last remaining key card is here let's open it up let it roll and of course uh, 75 key cards have been opened the final one being 850 gold there were three no there were four premiums out of the top secret key cards that Jonesy was able to pick so well above the average that you were expecting and we actually have one more key card that was obviously uh, not we, we didn't back out to actually open so there we go an extra 425 gold um, but yeah 47,000 gold four premiums out of the top secret key cards and he only had 17 of them I opened up 20 and only ended up with one premium so you can see the disparity in what maybe you can get from the key cards and of course they are completely down to luck that is literally what key cards are so if you're opening them expecting to get two premiums if you're opening them expecting to get 10 premiums remember it's rng wargaming love their rng system so you cannot guarantee anything but jonesy definitely came out with a good result in this one picking up not only a free premium tank at tier 8 as well as tier 4 um, but also at tier 7 and also uh, managing to pick up the TANK and a ton of gold and managing to pick up 40,000 gold out of the opening which is amazing and yeah really really good result to see for Jonesy there and I'm very very happy with how it ended up hopefully that gave you a good indication as to how you can save a ton of of uh, your own money and actually save up the key cards and open them yourself uh, when the weeks come by and actually saving them up is the best way of guaranteeing you extra gold because you could potentially if for example you got the bear kv122 like jonesy did and you didn't have the tank in a different week and then uh, you open up again you can get the same tank which will definitely guarantee you gold uh, whereas if you were to open them in separate occasions you may end up with two tanks that you don't really want but you didn't get any gold for the value so there we go 47,000 gold, a ton of silver, a ton of free XP, some premium days and a brilliant result overall. Thank you very much to Jonesy and thank you very much to the RNG gods at Wargaming for Jonesy's account. Maybe not mine, maybe they got a little bit sick of some of the video titles that we've been doing against Wargaming. Um, but they, uh, I really hope you did enjoy this video. It's a long one, it was a big one and yeah hopefully you don't go out and spend a ton of money on key cards and actually save them up because as you can see it's better not to purchase them thank you very much and i hope you join me in the next video goodbye